Hi, we're at Badger's Oak Tunnel today. It's over there somewhere and we're gonna go find it. We know roughly where it is. It's an amazingly well-constructed tunnel, about 180 yards, pitch dark, and it's got a little U-bendy type of turn in it, which means that you won't be able to see the uh, light at the end of the tunnel, proverbially. Uh, it's winter time, as you can probably tell. The sun, we've got ravens. We're in a, literally a haunted woods. We've got all the, uh, right things for a horror movie. Actually, look, can you do me a favor? Look, that's amazing, the light coming through the trees. I will tell you more about it in a minute, but you must come with us. Come, come, come with us. Say hi, Luke. What was that? <laughs> He's quite camera shy. Um, yeah. So as you can tell, the, where, we're, where we're at is a quite dense woodland. Um, lots of rabbit holes, lots of warren holes. So all the uh, recipes for falling down a massive hole at some point. So yeah, okay. I'm gonna tell you more about it when we get inside, get near it, which we are now really. Uh, See y'all in a minute. Bye. So yeah, we've um, <clears throat> we've reached it to the bottom. It's quite slippery. We almost uh, fell off the uh, edge up there. Uh, got undone by a twig. Basically, it decided that it was going to push us off the edge. Here we are. Don't know if you guys can see that as well as what we can, but it's going into a deep, dark recess or a tunnel, as we like to call them. <clears throat> Luke's taking some pics. Yo. And it's actually uh, quite cold today. Oh God. Yeah. The uh, it's quite quite fortunate because we're in um, <laughs> boots. But I'm sure that even in the summertime, I reckon it'll be quite muddy down here. Feet are sinking and everything else. So guys, if you've checked out our video before, um, which was Ellen Valley Park Tunnel, Bourne Park Tunnel. You're not, oh jeez. <laughs> Sorry guys, look at this. My feet are literally just sinking in the... Oh, like that. <laughs> Good job. Oh, See? <laughs> See you guys, if you've checked out our video, uh, Ellen, oh my god. <laughs> Ellen Valley Park Railway Tunnel. Um, you'll know that the ground was a lot better there. It was a different time of year and also uh, that it was a similar thing literally you can tell that they've cut it right into the tracks here now I don't know if you guys can see what we can see now move the torch out the way would help so there's the entrance yeah you guys can see that look finger of doom da 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 there you go we're going to go inside and then when we go inside we're gonna have a nice little conversation about it yeah it's right Lee, we'll film it for you for YouTube you know, like that. <laughs> I think if we go outside a little bit as you can tell we've been defeated by the mud here because it is extremely deep <laughs> okay so like I said if you do come down here wear some Wellingtons it's really bad yeah okay take a look guys Oh, look, just look at my feet, guys. If anybody complains at me today about steady cam on this, they can go do one. Oh, there's that lovely smell of sulfur that everybody loves to hate. We well, you know what to do. Uh, what do you think we should do, guys? Should we try and risk it and go across? Oh, there's a stone there. I've got a really funny feeling that's really deep just here. Oh no, no, haha. -ha. 
Ouch, tree. <laughs> Here we go, we made it. My socks are wet. <laughs> oh no, how are we going to get in? So some of these are uh, original, some of the original railway sleepers here. And here we are. Okay. Sorry about the wonky camera angles. We're going to do it in real time, I think, which would be pretty cool. So we're going to film it like I did Elm Valley. The idea is that we're going to film it in live time from going from one end to the other. So we can time it and see how long it takes. It should take about a couple of minutes, I reckon. No, exactly. Yeah, I know, yeah. Okay. All right, guys, see you. Uh, opened in 1893, shut in 1961. Um, it was the main, it was the tunnel basically, the link between um, Cranbrook and Hawkehurst. Hawkehurst is that way, Cranbrook's that way, <clears throat> more underneath the arch. And the idea was that really this railway was actually meant to supply the light in my eyes. Look, um, <laughs> the idea was it was meant to sort of be a, the <laughs> main, <laughs> just being blinded everyone. We'll keep, we'll keep filming because we're professionals, even though I've got like dots. In my eyes now. Uh, the idea was that it was meant to be a the mainline railway, and it was meant to interconnect all the little villages. Looks peeing himself <laughs> off. <laughs> the idea is it's meant to sort of link up all the uh, mini villages together, and obviously bring it together. But it didn't really last that long. It wasn't really that successful. The whole project of actually doing this. So there still is a main line, which obviously links up towards Paddock Wood, and then eventually it'd link up to Medway. Funny enough. So even though we're quite far away, <clears throat> the Sussex sort of border. It was actually quite an interesting place and as you can see it's kind of quite parabolic it's quite um sort of arched and we're gonna start from the beginning and then um we're gonna start from the beginning and then we'll walk our way through so should we start now okay guys so feel free to time us we're gonna do it so here we go We're only going to time it from one end to the other for obvious reasons that, you know, it's not a relay. But there you go. So we're going to keep moving and get the idea. So as you can see, I mean, it's extremely, really well preserved. Um, brickwork's still here. The lovely red colours. The brick, if you guys can get that, it's amazing. I love all that sort of stuff lovely colouring of it. It does curve round, I mean like you can probably see in the camera that it sort of curves around quite a bit, but it's not a massive sort of thing, it's not the same as Ellen Valley. Oh and here's one of our first junction points, well not junction points, one of the first alcoves. Hopefully you guys can see that. There you yeah, okay. Look at there you go, look. <coughs> Original signage as well, I love that. So like I said, it's about 186 yards, I think it is, from one end to the other, so not really that far, but far enough that, you know, always got to be careful. I like the fact you can play like shadow pockets. I noticed as well is that because it's almost a straight tunnel, I'm getting literally dripped on massively here. Yeah? As you can see, all that water. Um, there's actually, when the wind blows through here, you actually do get quite a really cool draft. Here's another arch.
can see all the moisture on the mould and kind of this one here. It's not really that much else to... It's normally my quote of the day, really, isn't it? Well, so there's not really that much else to say about it, but there isn't. As always, like I said, when you're coming down here, you've got to be really careful. Because um, it is wet, it's slippery, it's very muddy. There's another alcove. And the, if you've been counting, that's number three. Two on my left side, and then one on my right side. Oh, there's Luke in the background. He's wearing a head torch, which is the thing that blinded me, guys. No, it's not a ghost in the corner over there. Or a train, which it kind of looks like, actually. It looks like a mini train. <laughs> so we're going to keep moving. <clears throat> so yeah, like this is the, uh, as we sort of explained before, we technically, if we were in the train, we'd be heading down to uh, head, uh, Hawkehurst, I keep saying Headcorn, Hawkehurst, which is a lovely little place if you've ever been to, loads of history. Hawkehurst gang and all that jazz. Oh, and here's our, if you've been counting, this is number four of our arches. Alcove. Look at that, incredible. What I like about this place is it's not actually that much, well, there's barely any graffiti here, which is always good. I like that a lot, and there isn't. <coughs> there we go. Big's taking pictures, that's why he's uh, lagging behind. <clears throat> Ooh. And this looks to be, is it our final alcove? I think it could be. <clears throat> Now, something else that you've probably noticed <clears throat> is that it's quite narrow. And if you've uh, been doing your research, you'll know that it's, uh, whoa, very muddy. But it was a single line track, from what I was told, as well. And uh, so you get one from one and one from the other. Dude, it's very, very deep and muddy where I am now. Oh, guys, look, you can see that that's my but it's massively just disappeared. I'm trying to find some sort of solid. There's a worm. Oh, yeah. Got a massive amount of water stuck in the machine. Yeah. Right, okay. There we go. That's the worst bit over. There you go. Sorry for the lack of <coughs> steady work. As you can tell, it's stupidly muddy, so it's sucking my boots in really badly. So I haven't been able to sort of maintain the camera as a steady sort of point, unfortunately. So I do apologise. We've made it to the other side. So uh, hopefully you guys are timing it. I haven't. I'm assuming it's probably about a couple of minutes, maybe three. I think the worst thing about it was the actual terrain, because it's still really muddy here. I'm going to lean and get wet. Whoa. So this is uh, looking down. So this would be the south side of the tunnel. Looking in. You can see Luke's little headlamp there. And I think it's extremely well preserved. <laughs> yeah, see. Luke's just found the really muddy bit. Oh, sorry, bit. Whoa! Okay, okay, we're good. I'm having to lean against this wall and I think I've got really muddy. Right, sorry guys for chatting so much, mostly about how muddy we've got today, but maybe it's just an incentive for you guys. Yeah. 
There you go. Look. Okay, everyone. So that would be the track that would have been going down to Hawkehurst. Hopefully I've told you enough that you need to know about it. Because there wasn't really that much to say. But um, if you were timing it, we just did the train journey underneath Badger's Oak Tunnel from uh, Cranbrook to Hawkehurst. Hope you enjoyed it. Came along for the ride with us. Like I said, sorry if the camera was a bit dodgy, sorry if we got a bit muddy. Luke's going to take some more photos. We're going to head back down that way, I think. Depending on how muddy we're going to get. And uh, yeah, catch you guys soon. See you later. Bye. <laughs>